It's a great privilege to accept this honour on behalf of the late Ramon Carlin. Unlike many of those who have rounded Cape Horn under sail, Ramon was not a professional, he wasn't experienced, and he was not particularly skillful as a sailor. But he had determination backed by an amazing aptitude for planning, organisation and leadership. Ramon was born poor, and if you're poor in Mexico, you really are poor. From the age of 14, he had to support his family of 10. He survived just by selling stuff door to door, stuff he bought in a shop and then went from one house to the next, until somebody agreed to pay him more than he'd paid for it himself. From this lowly beginning, he recruited staff and built up a business selling, then also manufacturing household goods. To simply call him a washing machine millionaire doesn't do justice to the brutally hard way he got there. The story of his sailing adventure is told with sympathy and humour in the film The Weekend Sailor, how he found the boat he needed and then discovered that there was a bit more to this sailing business than he expected. His chosen crew of wife, son, two nephews and his manservant was not going to be sufficient and in a completely haphazard way he enrolled seven amateur sailors to help him do the race. It was a bit like the magnificent seven goes to sea. Today it would be easy, just recruit who you want and pay them what they asked for. But in 1973 there were no professional racing crews and experienced amateurs were unlikely to join a Mexican with no track record on such an extremely dangerous undertaking. I can say without a doubt that everything that led to Seula's victory in the Whitbread Round the World race can be attributed to Ramon Carlin. His planning, organisation and leadership got us there and he earned our respect, our loyalty and even our love. He fully earned his induction into this Hall of Fame. On behalf of the entire Carlin family, and that includes us, his crew, thank you for this unique honour.